Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. We got a new unboxing. This is the latest Marvel Gears and Good box from Loot Crate and Marvel. It's one of the numerous geeky services out there that delivers a box of goodies to your doorstep. You don't know what you're going to get, what you're going to find inside. So we're going to go and open up this box and find out. Um, I have no idea what's in there. This is going in completely blind. We like to, to go in blind for these uh, unboxings. First thing, though, is this box is really heavy. This is uh, kind of surprising me. It, there's some weight to this. Um, some of the other boxes have not had that, so I'm really kind of excited to see what's inside and what's delivering that. Um, first, we got a t-shirt. There's a little She-Hulk action. Pretty cool art. Uh, this is off of the, uh, the recent series that was going on. Um, kind of a cool t-shirt. This is one I would definitely wear. It's a ringer t-shirt. Um, which I, I sport every so often. I kind of go back and forth with it. I look good in it, but uh, those sleeves sometimes drive me nuts and I wind up rolling them up anyways. Um, the art is great. Like, this is just a cool design. I dig it. This is, this is a t-shirt I would actually wear, so I'm very happy with that. All right, there's, there's actually a lot in this box. All right, it looks like we got a poster here. So let's see what this one is. So, uh... Usually not a fan of including posters like this into boxes. All right, we got Captain Marvel. Really cool art. I'm digging it. Um, I always think the uh, po posters and stuff like that in boxes like these are kind of cheap. Um, however, I'm going to make an exception for this, not because of the poster itself, but because there is a lot of other stuff in there. So it does feel like an add-on in this place, in, uh, in this case, and not necessarily... I, uh, you know, taking the spot of something else. You'll see, there's, there's a lot in here. Uh, I'm actually kind of impressed with, uh, with how much is packed into this box. So, uh, poster is, it's cool art. Uh, well, that'll go to the collection. Uh, speaking of Captain Marvel, we got a lanyard with, uh, her kind of logo art, stuff like that in there. Kind of a cool lanyard. Um, I'm, I'm actually somewhat digging this one. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with this, but... Uh, this will definitely be something I could at least maybe take to cons with me and wear for uh, some badges and stuff like that. So, um, kind of cool. Uh, next, we've got a nice wasp bookmark. If this isn't a play on size, I'm going to be very disappointed. There, there, should, there should be some solid humor as far as that. That's kind of cool. All right, it's a nice... Nice design to it. Hopefully you can kind of see it on here. Um, some art of the wasp and take this out and maybe show it off a little bit more. Um, all right. Actually, it's going to be really difficult to get out of there. Uh, so it's like a flat bookmark. Um, looks good. This is actually pretty cool art. Uh, nice design. It's It feels like it's metal of some sort. I mean, it might be tin or whatever. Nothing crazy, but uh, quality. It feels like quality, so yay. This doesn't feel like a cheap like bookmark bookmark. We've seen some of that in some others. Uh, this one actually feels kind of like decent. Um, all right, so we've got a uh, pin. Always the Loot Crate stuff. They like their pins. Uh, this one's got Kamala Khan, a little Ms. Marvel action. Pretty cool. Pin, if you ask me, it's actually just a neat one. I, I really dig the, uh, the kapow in there, um, and the art is solid as well. So far, I'm really digging this. All right, we've got a beautiful squirrel girl. Kind of wondering what this is. So I'm noticing a theme in this box. I'm going with, like, women of Marvel of the sorts. It's just like a blank notebook, sketchbook, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, there's nothing else really to it. Kind of feels chintzy. Well, let's say that. Having a blank paper, overall, the, the product feels a little chintzy. However, the in my hands, the, the cover and the back actually feel really good. Tactile being touching it. So, um, that's cool. It's, so far, maybe the weakest item out of the box. I don't know. Uh, but so far, the box is pretty decent. There's one more item. Uh, looks like there's one, at least one more item. I don't know, there might be two items. Put that, that way. Alright, so this has got to be, this is the weight. This is definitely the weight. So we got Inside Editions. 
this is the Black Widow creating the Avenging Super Spy by Michael Mallory. This is a Loot Crate edition. Don't know this book at all, but looks like history of Black Widow. So let's see here. So we've got a bunch of chapters. We've got chapter one, Genesis of a Spy. Chapter two, from Spider Superheroine. Chapter three, Woman for All Season. Four, Deadly Rivals. Five, Webs of Political Intrigue. Six, It's All Personal and an Epilogue, a Super Spy in a Changing World. This could be pretty interesting. Nice history of the character. Quality book. Like, this actually feels like a very, very uh, solid put together. But Inside Editions does do some great work uh, when it comes to their stuff. So, uh, there is this little card to kind of walk you through everything. So, take the lead is the theme. Fly higher, go further, run faster, do more. That's how you take the lead. And that's exactly what these incredible characters have been doing for years. So, we got uh, uh, She Hulk, Regan. Uh, or Raglan, whatever. Uh, it's got the art by oh, cool. This has got the artist. This kind of was making me feel bad. All right, so the She-Hulk T-shirt, the art by Elizabeth Torque, the Black Widow creating the Avenging Superhero Spies, the books, the Captain Marvel limited edition poster, art by Cat Staggs, the Captain Marvel lanyard, Squirrel Girl uh, sketchbook, and that's cover art by Erica Henderson, Wasp Metal bookmark. Doesn't say who did that one. That's kind of funny. And then a Kamala Khan man, uh, enamel pin, and doesn't say who did the art on that one. So we get a little bit of what's what's in uh, the box and who did what. We can see inside the box. We got some solid art in there. Um, overall, like not a bad box. I felt feel like uh, it's worth the dollars. Uh, this was one where the products feel pretty good. Uh, the book is impressive. The sketchbook. It, it's a nice sketchbook. Like, I'm not going to knock it too much. Uh, the cover and all that, it just feels good. Uh, the bookmark is good. The pin's good. I love, actually really love the t-shirt, and this kind of feels like an added bonus. So you're looking at one, two, three, four, five items, plus the plus the pin. I don't really count the pin as, the, as an item. So five items uh, for the price in it. Not bad overall, actually. Uh, it's a heavy box. I feel like weight-wise... This is a pretty solid deal. So you uh, you can go and subscribe and get your own uh, Loot Crate Marvel Gears and Goods and pick up the next one. I think they're every other month. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. It's an affiliate link, so we do get a small percentage of that. So by purchasing through that, you do help support our site. Uh, um, yeah, I want to thank you for watching. If you're into Marvel, if you are into comics in general, if you're into any of these characters, She-Hulk, Black Widow, Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel, Captain Marvel... Squirrel Girl, any of them. Check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Until next time, thanks for watching and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.